All right, today we're talking about what I think is possibly the number one thing that you could add to your practice routine, practice sessions, whatever it may be. And that is improvisation and self-expression. And so this is something that I've been doing for maybe the past three or four months. I've done it before in the past, but I haven't, I hadn't really done it every practice session. Now, most teachers will tell you improv is good, but the way that I mean it is like taking 30 minutes of a practice session for just playing and playing whatever you want, essentially. It's so much fun that it, it brings me down on the kid. It makes, it makes me want to practice. So that's why, that's probably the number one reason why I think it's so important is because if something makes you want to practice, then you should keep doing that for real. Like that, that is a good thing. Before I dive a little more into it, I'm just going to show you what I mean, like literally show you. And so I'm not going to think much here. I'm just going to play. All right. So none of this is pre-planned. So something like that. A lot of that stuff is stuff that I I've played a lot, so that's probably why that's probably why I went to it first. But that's what I mean. Right there I just sat and none of that was like I didn't have that pre-planned. I literally just sat and played whatever came to my mind. And the trick to this is to not think a lot. Obviously, you have to think a little because otherwise you'd be like dead or something. I don't know. Is not thinking dead? Probably, but anyways, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, you have to you have to think a tiny bit, but basically whatever thoughts come to your head, immediately show them, immediately play those things. So if like right there, um, I mean, a lot of this is muscle memory. You'll find like a lot of your improv is gonna be muscle memory. Uh, and one thing I do a lot is like, it's almost like a shuffle and then like filling in with the bass drum. Like that again is a little bit of improv. Um, and you probably heard that in that first little section. So those are things that I'm used to doing, but let, let's get into like why this is fucking awesome to do. So much fun. I'm gonna get a little cliche here. So if you're not into that, click away. Uh, but <laughs> basically like you just playing whatever comes to your mind, you just, just sitting down and playing for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Everything there is like, that was you in that moment. So everything there, it was you, that, that's who you are as a drummer. Like it almost defines you, not entirely, but those are the things that for some reason you gravitated to in those moments. And it might only ever be in that specific moment. So maybe the next moment is entirely different. But that's what's so amazing. It's like spur of the moment things that are patterns, rudiments, things that just come out only in those moments. And we're getting serious here. I know we're getting deep, but for real, it's just like it's basically a little piece of you just thrown onto the kit. And the reason why that's important is because a lot of drumming a lot of like drumming to just like learning new songs playing in a band um i don't know it could be anything most of the drumming is like unless you've really like carved away for you to be creative in everything you've done a lot of drumming is playing things other people play like if you're a gigging musician then it's a lot of learning beats that aren't really you and you can you can always spice it up with a little bit of like your own inflections and, and things that could add to it. But for the most part, like if we're just playing like rock, it's gonna be like. All good and fun, but 
it actually isn't all good and fun once you've played it 6,000 times. And if you're not enjoying the music, then uh, it's not gonna be a great time. But that's where improv comes in. And obviously you can't just go rip random improv at a gig, but at least this gives you like some time to to ha like have some time for you on the kit. Like this is your your time to give it give it your all to to put everything you have of yourself into the kit. What's interesting and cool and kind of obvious is that whatever so whatever I just played before when I was just doing random improv, that was me in that moment. And it's going to be my kind of style of improv for a while, but it won't always be because as we learn things, we add new stuff to our repertoire and we, we actually can, eventually it'll be muscle memory things that will just come out in the improv. So it's really cool because you can, you can kind of feel, you get a better sense for how you're improving in my opinion. Like when I do improv, a lot of it is things that I really love to do. So I get to see how those are improving, how the things that I like to hear, what I want to hear, I get to hear how they're improving. So that's a very cool thing that you don't always get to see in drumming if you're just learning new songs. Obviously, you'll still see progression, but seeing progression in your own self-expression is, in my opinion, like way, way cooler, way more fun, way more important, not only for the kit, but for your own well-being. Uh, and I, I know we're getting deep, but seriously, I think it will not only just improve your drumming, but it'll improve your everyday mood. Like. When I have the time to just sit here and play whatever I want, it makes me literally happier. So that's why it's important. But now, so before you know, we wrap up the video, and I know a lot of this was just like a talking thing, but I'm trying to revamp my channel. So this is what I like to make, just like talking about kind of ideas and drumming and stuff and, and such like that. But before we, we, uh, we wrap it up, there's another way that you can do improv and self-expression and it's more of like a rule-based one. And so I got this from Mike Johnston who probably got it from someone else because it's a common thing. And I've done this in college. But so basically taking an ostinato and then improv with all the other limbs that you have free over that ostinato. So there's one that Mike Johnston does where he basically just keeps quarters. And then you have to like I already, I already messed up because it's hard and I haven't practiced it a lot. But trust me, try that, just quarters. Mike Johnson ain't, ain't playing around. But you get it. But you can also just say you want a samba pattern in the legs. I don't know, wasn't great, but you get the idea. That's another way that will not only, you know, give you some creative freedom, but you'll also be practicing independence, you know, playing over different things. But to go off of that same idea, you can also just improv, but set your own rules. And essentially, so instead of just playing whatever comes to mind, say, all right, I'm only gonna use paradiddles. And this is this will be a challenge, but so, Say we have to play paradiddles in the hands, we could do other stuff in the feet, but let's let's try something. This is gonna be horrific, so yeah. So that wasn't all, but you get the idea.
yeah, that's a that's a lot of like randomness that didn't sound great because I have I hadn't really done that in the past. So another idea is to essentially try new things that you've been learning and use those in the improv. So make the improv section specifically about trying to use the new things that you've learned. So say you just learned a shuffle and you want to learn how to improv within that. This again will probably be horrific, but we'll try it. And we'll do a half time, kind of like Rosanna shuffle, Purdy type. You get the idea, that, that kind of vibe. Uh, that wasn't amazing again, but just trying to show ideas that you can, you can kind of add to your, your drumming. But again, the most fun in my opinion is just sitting down, playing whatever you have. Um, so I guess for the end here, I'll just, I'll just play. I'm gonna put in my, uh, my earbuds here because deafness isn't good. Um, we don't want to get deaf. We definitely don't want to get deaf. Deaf don't want to get deaf. All right, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but we're gonna we're gonna play now. I don't know, some of that I liked. We'll hear it, how it sounds, uh, or I'll hear how it sounds when I'm editing it, but that's the idea. So I encourage you with this video to go sit on your kit and just play whatever you want. Don't listen to the people who are like, there's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of teachers who say not to do that. And that's kind of why I'm making this video. There's plenty that will tell you to do this, but the idea of like no noodling or no messing around on the kit is blasphemy in my opinion, because it's supposed to be fucking fun, so have some fucking fun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be the video, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>